as much as I loved Mark Montoya as my coach, um, I felt like there was a few things that I needed to add um, into my training schedule that are more convenient for me to be here in Las Vegas. My next guest is going to be back in action October 7th, UFC Fight Night. It is Vanessa Demopoulos back here on the program. Vanessa, how are you? I'm so awesome today. How are you doing? That's good. I usually expect that. So no surprises there. <laughs> You're always in a, in a positive and good mood. Um, we we uh, actually saw you again uh, for International Fight Week. You last fought in May. Was this kind of the right amount of time off uh, in between fights? Like what? T tell me a little bit about the fight schedule this year. I would have loved to be more active this year, but moving twice uh, in the same year and then as well as having fight camps um, has kind of gotten in the way a little bit. I think this is the perfect amount of time for having to go to a new location, adjust to new coaches and my new schedule and everything here in Las Vegas. Yes, I was going to ask you about that. So you were in Colorado at Factory X. Now you're in Vegas. What prompted the, the change there? Um, I, it's not like a secret that I lost my last fight and which was very unfortunate, but as much as I loved Mark Montoya as my coach, um, I felt like there was a few things that I needed to add, um, into my training schedule that are more convenient for me to be here in Las Vegas. Gotcha. Well, yeah. And having the PI there and, and in so many other things, right. As well. So are you at, uh, cause obviously the two gyms there syndicate and extreme couture, which where are you training uh, right now? The PI. So oh, I'm cool. training okay. on a little monsters, um, Academy of violence essentially is what I'm training okay. out of. Yes. So like a, custom, <laughs> a custom camp then. Uh, that's interesting. Yes. I've absolutely okay. put together a custom camp, um, with coaches that I enjoy working with and aligning with. Um, Dennis Davis is my head coach and he is out of extreme. So I guess like, if you're going to like pick one or the other, I'm more out of extreme than syndicate, but, um, mainly most of my training happens here at the performance Institute. And the weather's better too, right? In Vegas, so that, ah. it, gets too, it gets too hot in the summer, right? So, I am mad. It was very hot here, but I'll take the heat over snow, like brushing my car with snow every morning before training. Absolutely. So, yeah, exactly. Yes. Um, you referenced the fight there against Carolina. Um, you know, kind of looking back, uh, what, what did you take away the most from that fight in particular? Man, Carolina, she's such an amazing striker. Um, she's absolutely world class at that. And we knew that going into the fight. I felt very prepared, especially being out of a camp like Factory X, where they are known for their amazing Muay Thai. Mark Montoya is world class when it comes to Muay Thai. Um, but maybe I didn't adjust my game plan well enough against her for that particular fight. So yeah, she was she was the better opponent on that night. And, and a good opponent here, uh, 14 fight veteran, uh, Murata. How do you feel like you match up against her here? Um, I personally love this fight against Murata. So she hasn't been in the cage for the last two years, but that's not to say that she hasn't been training all around the world. Um, we do know that she's very sharp when it comes to her striking, but obviously her world-class wrestling is what she's known for, is taking her opponents down and overpowering them on the ground. So I look forward to the battle on the feet and on the floor. Uh, you mentioned coaches, Dennis Davis. So what about training partners? Who have you had a chance to work with? Who's helping you get ready for this one? I do have particular training partners out here who are my size and um, they are wrestlers as well. So I train with them here at the Performance Institute and over at Extreme. Okay, cool. So kind of do both. So a little bit at the PI and then a little bit of Extreme, you kind of go to both? Is that, or, mm -hmm. or, is, every, yeah. or is everything? Okay, gotcha. And I do have like my particular training partners that like I'm doing private sessions with to make sure that I'm getting the attention that I need. Yeah. It's more, like you said, more customized, more focused, kind of tailoring everything to you as opposed to being at like a bigger camp. Right. So. Correct. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's cool. Um, and how nice is it having the PI there? Like I'm sure you don't have to really pay for, for food that much, right? <laughs> it is super nice. So um, I've been using Tyler Mitten to kind of help me get my weight down, which has been coming off perfectly. And he like sends over my meals to the PI. They make the food for me. Um, as long as I'm actually eating what is sent to me, then things are going great. Yes. That's excellent. How did, how did you link up with Tyler? He, he, he's one of the best. I've known Tyler for a long time. Yeah, he's amazing. So Charles here at the Performance Institute recommended him to me. And um, it's just been a match made in heaven. He's awesome. I love working with him. What's your favorite meal to eat that you can have during camp? Because I'm sure there's like a go to meal you can have. <laughs> um, honestly, I've just been like, rocking with the pi food so i haven't been going too far off track if i do go out to eat i love salmon so okay. it's like i'm not like 
I'm not even having like cheat meals per se, but like yeah. if that is like a cheat meal, like that's what I'm going to is like going out to eat, having some like salmon and some salad. Like that makes me happy. There you go. Well, that's good. Um, and your corner. So I imagine Dennis Davis will be in there. Who else will be in the cage with you on October 7th? Uh, Mateos, Nicolau. And then also um, we have Jiva Santana. So who is, he just won the world at Masters. I'm so proud of him. My professor Jiva, who gave me my black belt in jujitsu. Um, it was a really awesome experience uh, having everybody here for Masters Worlds in Las Vegas and watching him win. So he'll be in my corner as well. How do you see this fight unfolding on October 7th? I see this fight unfolding where she's going to want to stay on the feet and fight for quite a while, but um, I do expect her to go for takedowns, of which I've fully prepared for, as well as trying to outgrapple me on the ground, and uh, that'll be fun. That'll be very fun to watch. We got a big fight up away class from you next week. Shoshanko, Alexa Grasso, just curious how you think that rematch plays out on September 16th. Oh my goodness. I couldn't imagine Alexa Grasso beating Valentina the first time. So to know that she's going out there, I know that um, Alexa Grasso has also had Lupita Godinez go down there for Lupita's entire camp, who's also fighting on that card. So I know that Alexa's had like the best training partners. Um, they do go really hard in that gym. I kind of see her winning again. You know, I feel like she's got that like champion confidence going into this fight, already having a win against Valentina. It's like always the hardest thing to go against Valentina, but I want to see Alexa win, and I think she's going to. So I imagine, too, with the fact that you're in Vegas, do you think you'll be more active as well just because, you know, something falls out? Like, they do so many cards in Vegas, you're just down the street, right? Yes, 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 and I'm looking forward to it. Um, I am... I do cut a lot of weight though. So I don't know how available I'll be. I'm going to try to like keep my weight a little bit lower though for those exact reasons. Like I do want to be more available to be able, I love fighting. Like I want to be active. I want to be fighting three, four times a year. So for me to be able to like jump in as long as I'm kind of close to like my last fight, still in shape, being able to go back down um, to the 115, like that would be ideal. And, and also being in Vegas, I imagine, uh, you know, I know you do work with UFC Fight Pass. Is that kind of opening more opportunities for you as well, just in case like they need someone or like, again, because they're doing so much in Vegas, you're kind of at the hub. Uh, it's like a home game, you know? Yeah, uh, I, I would love to do a lot more broadcasting if that's possible. And especially being here, but I've been in fight camp basically the whole time since getting here. So when I'm in fight camp, I don't focus on broadcasting at all. I really do just like lock in to the fight game. Um, but we'll see what happens and what unfolds after that. Because yeah, like ESPN is here more often. You have the contender series fights, which are really the door openers for a lot of the fight nights, which are their door openers for the pay-per-views. So, and that's something that I look forward to post fighting more so than being an active fighter, also doing broadcasting. I do want to do both, but that's like a long haul career that I get to look forward to. And right now I'm very focused on my opponent ahead of me coming up on October 7th. So how long has it been in Vegas total? Like, did you go right after the Carolina fight or how long has it yeah. been? Yeah, I, I pretty much came after here right after the Carolina fight. It, it was oh, like okay. a month after. Yeah, and then I got here and I was planted for maybe several weeks and then we kind of like got some fight news. So yeah. I started like mentally kind of locking in and um, finding my new schedule, finding my new routine and here we are. What about downtime? I know you like going out and hiking and all that stuff. There's a lot of good hiking spots in Vegas. I know you had some rain a few weeks ago, but uh, what are you getting up to when you get that little bit of free time? Yeah, like last night I went over to Top Golf and kind of enjoyed some games over there. And there's always like shows to go out to. Like I went out to a concert over the weekend and you get to go out to eat. Like being here in Vegas, there's so much to do. Like if you get bored in Vegas, that's a you, you thing. Can't. There's, yeah, it's impossible. You can't get yeah. bored. Yeah, you can't get bored in Vegas. And including going out to the mountains and getting to hike, which I love. I love climbing things. Um, it's been, it's been awesome being here. I swear I'm like never moved and been so comfortable, like so quickly.